Hello, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Tech Support, and I'm going to show you how to use a feature in Corel uh, by importing a text or, or some sort of text uh, message or sentence or uh, just a, a saying uh, incorporated onto an image, put a fade to it so it's sort of like a um, transparent um, text so that if you want to send a postcard or whatever you want to do uh, I'm just going to use a simple image here that I have and uh, we're going to create a little text and I'm going to show you how to use a fancy feature in here for um, for fading like a fading out of the text in the background and um, I find it useful for uh, photos and um, uh, you know postcards things like that any type of uh, uh, image fading that you would need you could use this tool so let's get started first off I'm going to select a font actually I need to select my text tool and I'm going to select that and when I choose a tool over here that will automatically bring up uh, any menus surrounding that tool meaning uh, special features that you would uh, you could use while using that tool for instance choosing a font or font size underline those kind of things uh, I'm going to choose a font that uh, it's kind of in my mind Christmassy and um, to go along with my image and it's going to ask me if I want an artistic uh, text I'm going to say yes and right now my font size is 24 I'm going to go with something that we can see a little bigger and we'll probably resize it again um, let's do that and I'm gonna write something like um, Merry Christmas um, from the T H O M A S S O N S from the Thomasons and uh, that's still not big enough but that's okay I'm going to make it a little bigger here in just a second. Now what I want to do is kind of place it somewhere uh, uh, in here where I can just kind of see how it's going to look once I get it placed on the image and I can uh, select all of this by choosing my tool here and just highlighting, um, just highlighting this whole thing. Now what I want to do is probably choose a color that I that would show up better, and I'm going to choose white. Um, and now I want to make my image just a little bit bigger, so or my text a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go probably with something like say 72 points. And if I want to go bigger than that, if it's not in the drop down, I'll just type it in there. How about that? and uh, now I'm going to kind of center it and I could put it up here at the top which is a good place or I could put it down here uh, kind of at the bottom now I want to change the color of it I want to go something um, that probably a little more Christmas color um, I'm going to choose this red uh, if I left click on the red uh, it'll change the color as you can see just left clicking it changes the color and um, I'm going to choose the red and then if I right click on a color over here it'll change the actual outline so um, it'll give me an outline by right clicking and left click will give me a fill so as you can see uh, my, my white is my fill and my red is my outline and if I just choose my pick tool I can select off of it now let's say for instance I want to fade it I don't I don't want it that bright I just kind of want to kind of fade it in there so it just kind of meshes into the image um, I'm going to choose my transparency tool here and if you don't see it there if you just click on it um, you can see that the transparency tool could be behind any of these tools so I'm going to choose transparency and now that I've chosen that I can see that my menu up here has changed surrounding uh, features with the transparency tool and I'm going to drop down this I'm going to use a uniform which will fade the whole uh, everything I have selected here which is the text and uh, I can even do 
um, more fancy things with it if I wanted to, but I'm just going to go normal. Um, and now that it's faded, I can choose the percentage at which I want it faded. If I go to the right, it fades more. If I go to the left, the lower percentage, it fades less. So I'm going to go uh, by default. It's going to it's going to be a 50%. I'm going to fade it a little more. And um, now I have um, a uniform transparency in this image, and um, I'm ready to place it wherever I want. I kind of like it at the bottom, so I'm going to leave it down there. And now I'm ready to uh, print or do whatever I want to with uh, with this image to create my postcards or, or my invitations. Again, um, this is Vicki with Condi Systems showing you, showing you how to use the transparency feature and also your uniform tool by incorporating text into an image. If you have any questions or is ever anything else that, uh, that I can help explain with this video, feel free to give me a call. Thank you for your time.